Hello, I'm Ed. And I'm Paul. How are you guys? This is another episode of Rage Against the Fucking Wretched. Thank you for joining us. First off, I have to do a little commercial spot to keep our show going. This is brought to you by Goya Foods. This here is Yolanda. She's from the Yucatan Peninsula, here to tell us about Goya Foods. Oh, I'm sorry. She's mute. Her parents didn't have the money to get her operation when she was born. So she's speechless for the rest of her life, so I'll speak for her. Goya Foods, from their delicious Spanish olives to their delightful black and kidney beans, along with their array of rices with Spanish spices. Hmm, rices and spices. Thank you, Goya Foods. If it's got to be good, it's got to be Goya. <laughs> Bye, Yolanda. Now, let's see what our subject's going to be today. We've brought a new special guest in to help us decide what we're going to rage against. <clears throat> Here we have the chicken box. The chicken box tells us what story to tell next. Yes, it does. But doesn't the chicken box have a lock on it? No, the chicken box is never locked. Never, ever, ever. There are no locks on, ch on chicken box, on chicken box, on chicken box, on chicken box. What does the chicken box hold for us today? Do you have any idea? Because I do not. What does the chicken have to say for us today? I'm going to see what the chicken box says. You want to see with me? The chicken box. Chicky, chicky. Let's see what it says. I'm going to reach in there and get a, try to get a good one. What do you think? I think it's going to be a good one. Ah! The chicken box has given us today's title. It is Communication Breakdown. What I was thinking about, <clears throat> when I think about communication breakdown, I think about the fact that it's almost as people don't have the power of speech anymore. Yeah, it's true. I don't remember the last time anybody actually called me. I think I'm the only person left on the planet with a landline because I don't like answering my cell phone. I find it annoying because it's always spoof calls. It's all bullshit. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dig. So I don't dig that shit. But my the main problem is people and their phones, their laptops, and their fucking tablets, all over the place. We go to Starbucks, and what are people doing? They're sitting there glued to their laptop or glued to their fucking tablet. And what are they doing? They're looking at fucking cat videos, or they're posting things in fa on Facebook and Instagram. Click, click, look at my coffee. Click, click, yes. look at my lunch. Yeah. Are you fucking shitting me? And, and what I really love is when you see entire groups of people sitting around a table all texting. Yes, we've experienced yeah, that. Yeah, we, I've times. experienced that. You know, I mean, what the fuck? Why are you even meeting these people? If you're going to stay on your phone, why don't you just stay at home and, and sit there and text them all you fucking want on your stupid ass phone? Exactly. And do you really need to go to to Starbucks to show everybody that you're working on your laptop? No. That, that's, you know, that's what bullshit writers do. Real yeah. writers write at home. They don't need to fucking... No. no. Or send emails or whatever they're doing. Yeah, send emails. What the fuck? Everybody's got to be so goddamn connected today. It really fucking pisses me off. What's the difference? Who put what on Facebook? You'll live until you get home. Trust me. Use the phone for what you need to use the phone for. When it's appropriate. It's not all. The, it's not appropriate all the time. It's not cool to sit there and go out to dinner with ten people and you're sitting there going, 
I will wonder what's happening. Oh, I have to post a picture of my of my dinner on Facebook. You know something? As far as fucking Facebook is concerned, with the way everybody posts every little tiny bit of fucking minutia in their lives, you know what? You may as well post. People, I mean, you may as well just say, you know, people say I'm going on vacation, or as people say now, I'm going on vacay, which makes me want to just fucking shove a goddamn table leg down their fucking cunt yeah. mouths. But that's a subject for a different day. That's a subject for a different day. All right, just thank you. Thank you for reeling me in. Fucking rage gets to me. So anyway, what you should do, if that's the case, you're going to tell people you're going on vacation, why don't you just post your fucking name, your address, the key code to your alarm? What the fuck? Yeah. Why don't you just say, come take everything? It's all free. I'm not going to be here for a week anyway. Yeah. That's stupid. I don't, have to see, I don't have to see pictures of people's food. Oh, this is my breakfast. Isn't it delicious? Oh, this is my lunch. Isn't it delicious? Oh, yes, look at the dinner. If they're on vacation, it's even more special. It's even more special because, oh, look, I'm eating Kong fritters. Who the fuck gives a shit what you're eating? I don't fucking care, and I don't want to see it. I've seen a lobster. I've seen everything. And as far as taking little selfies of yourself, don't you know what you look like? You see yourself every fucking day in the bathroom or in a butter knife or a spoon or some mirror and some reflective surface in your house and fucking Instagram. What the fuck? Why does everybody have to feel the need to put a picture of themselves or some fucking food or something? It's just fucking stupid. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Oh, I have a thought. I better tweet it out. You know, yes. like our fucking moron leader who just... I was just about who, to say that, yeah, like Donald Trump. Like Donald Trump, who fucking runs on emotion and will sit there and tweet at 3 o'clock in the morning about all his fucking rants about how much he hates everyone. He hates yes. black people. He hates white people. He hates gay people. He hates poor people. He hates everyone. So I am fucking done. I am fucking done with everyone with the fucking shit posting every goddamn bit of your life. Yeah, Nobody well gives just, a shit. Yeah, you might as well just say, hey, I'm on the toilet, you know, taking a giant ass shit. It do, wouldn't surprise me if people do that. It really would not surprise me. No, I'm sure there's people that do I'm sure that. there are people that do, and those people are fucking idiots. So, now that i am made myself clear on how all this crap annoys me, thank you so much for listening. To the few subscribers we did pick up, I'd like to personally thank you. We yes. really appreciate that. We appreciate all the views. But like I said, we still need close to a thousand subscribers to give you guys a live show. We want to do a fucking live show. Yes, we think that would be an awesome idea. It's all up to you guys now. It's all up to you. Please watch this show. Share it. Share it with every freaking person on your fucking contact yes, list. Yes, that is what you should be doing at Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, the looking fuck at you this are. show and looking at all thirty-five or thirty-seven videos we've made. And then sharing it with whoever. Share around them you. with whoever's around you. Ask. You want to see something sick on YouTube? Yeah, it's a view for us. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, we're not getting paid for this. We no. do it for fun. But we want to do a live fucking show. Yeah. So please like us. Like us on Facebook. Check out our Rage Against the Wretched page on Facebook. Soon to come, RageAgainstTheWretched.com. Yes. So, look forward to this. Look forward to Rage Against the Wretched, Wretched t-shirts. It's going to be fucking yes. awesome. It's going to be awesome. We're working Big on things some amazing are coming. things for us. Big things are coming because of all of you that watched us. So, thank you for your continued support. We appreciate it. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Rage Against the Wretched. See you soon.